Sometimes when you do a forecast, there's tons of lines of different models you have to predict, and sometimes you just don't know, and you start using the crystal ball, the dice. Play the dice. Ah, 36. <laughs> I'm kidding, that's not what I'm doing. So my role is to do market research, collecting data from the data, getting some trends out, looking at past trends, using what we call econometrics, collecting all of this and come up with some sort of a consensus where the market is going. I have a college degree in aerospace manufacturing. I'm a bachelor degree in economics and a master's degree in international business. I could understand how our craft are being built, but also apply economics to actually be able to do forecasts. I will do the forecast for business aviation once a year. They're interested in listening to us because they know that this is not coming out of thin air. I mean, there's, there's lots of data and history behind all of this. It's a privilege just to be able to be the guy that actually is continuing what these guys have been doing for such a long time and trying to just make sure that the uh, tradition continues. I work with a fantastic team. My three main colleagues I have, they've been there for like eight, 10 years plus at Honeywell. And I trust them all, I mean, in a sense that I know they're experts in what they're doing. We can share methodologies, we can share concepts. They know their markets very well. So it's, it's pretty amazing, actually. I hope one of my kids will do something spectacular that will change the world. But um, me personally, I think if I can have an impact on the industry, I'm good with that. Let's say we talk to an aircraft manufacturers and we tell them that we believe you should be doing this aircraft. We've tested your aircraft in our survey. The results are pretty good. You're going to sell tons of them. And they build a plant. They hire engineers. If we influence the industry to a point where we're making sure the right investments are being done in industry, that could have significant impact on the economy of a region, a city, or even a country. That's a privilege, for sure.